Welcome to, to this very brief tutorial on how to use PhotoMe, which is a metadata editing software for Windows. It's available online and it's for free. So firstly, I'm going to open up the program PhotoMe. And as you can see um, from the overview, it provides a plethora of information about what you will have currently opened in your program. So I'm going to go ahead and open an image. Once I've opened the file, I'm going to create an um, IPTC-NAA section. That's what I'll do next. And then from there on, I'll go on to this um, little plus sign and choose whatever it is I want to add from this menu. So right now, I want to start with keyword. Um, my main keyword will be my name. I'll apply that and then I'll add another keyword. You could separate your keywords with commas but um, I always find it easier to have keywords of different um, in their own separate tags. So over here I'm now going to put up pages which is the site where I want it to come from and then metadata tutorial and then I also want to say uh, software whatever your keywords are this is the field you put them in so once you're done, you just click apply and there we go, we've got our keywords there, we actually got two keyword fields. You can add much more like um, location, you can add expiration dates to it. Just experiment, go, go in there and experiment, play around with it and see what you get out of it. What I usually like to do is always add the creator, I think it's important to have the creator added to that. So that's done. And I also want to add copyright information. So let's go and look for copyright information. Here we go, copyright notice. I'll add that and I'll say this image. And you click your apply button. And bingo, we have um, our copyright notice the right there. Once you're done, like in any other program, you just click save and you're home and dry and ready to go. So that's about it in this short tutorial about um, PhotoMe, which is a free metadata editing software um, available for Windows. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and please remember to check out my hub pages and um, articles for more information on what meta tags are and what they can do for your site, website and articles online if you are not familiar with those. Thanks for watching.